Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and said this part would not laser. It will not laser because these are all hairlines. It will cut, but it will not laser. And first of all, if you're a laser engraver, you really need to change your blacks to RGB, but that's not that big a deal. But you see, it's got a fill now, so I, I did the wrong one. I need to right click, and now it's an RGB. But these are also made up of hairlines. So you need to be real careful if you're gonna do what I suggest to do so you can have this squirrely stuff selected and right click and take away the hairlines. But just to be double safe, uh, if I was gonna run this myself, I would actually, because this is all grouped together, I would do this. And we're working in her file, it's millimeters and I have no clue. I'm gonna change it to inches real quick and see how big this is. And it is, uh, and that's one of the reasons this is gonna be so important because this is so small. So we're less, we're a little over two inches. So I'm gonna set my nudge factor on four and I'm gonna nudge this up My number wasn't locked. I'm gonna nudge this out of the way. And then I'm gonna engrave this. And then I'm gonna nudge this out of the way. And I'm gonna vector engrave this. Uh, you know, you can, you can use the hairline and have it vector this, but do it really fast and, and you can do 100 power, but do like 100 speed. And what it's going to do is just going to mark those lines really quick because what you cannot do is you cannot change this because it's so small. If we go and change it to a half a point, look how thick they are. And that wouldn't look as good as the original drawing. So if you ran this, like you're going to cut it, but just do it, you know, 100 speed will not cut through the board. It'll just mark the board. And the advantage of that, if it didn't quite, look deep enough, you could run it again. Anyway, I hope that answered their question and thank you for watching.